Well, I taught you how to peel fresh loofah gourds, but now that they're dry, I'm going to teach you how to peel them dry. Well, this past summer, we were actually surprised that we were growing uh, loofah gourds. Uh, we had planted some amongst our birdhouse gourds, and we had no idea that they had actually germinated. So I'm going to post a, a link to a video here uh, when I was so surprised and shocked, and I brought you guys along to see the surprise of uh, finding our um, loofah gourds. But then also, uh, in the fall, it was time for me to harvest them, and I showed you how to peel a fresh loofah gourd, and I will link to that video up here. But now, um, it's time, they are all dried out, and I didn't peel all of them fresh, I just left some of them alone, didn't do anything to them, and maybe you can hear, but they are completely dried out, uh, the sponge part is still inside, and I'm going to teach you how to peel these and get the sponge out now. I think maybe Rosie will want to help along. Um, so let's get started. In the end of, at the end of this video, then I will compare uh, the ease of doing it both ways and to tell you which one I prefer for the future. Well, I have decided to do this over the hardwood floor because um, as you're popping this open and peeling things off, things just kind of flip everywhere. And it's easier for me to just uh, sweep it up at the end rather than have it all over the counters and the floors and or my tablecloth or something. Um, so I'm just gonna get started here. Now, these are very light. And all the moisture has uh, dehydrated out of them. And so the first step is just to kind of crack it just start cracking it a little bit. And if you want to pop one or both of the ends off, you know, there are lots of seeds in there and we're going to need to get those out of there. And I'm just going to catch everything, hopefully, in this bowl. Now you can see You can see how it's starting to look inside there. You know, you can definitely see that inside there is a loofah sponge. And the, the skin is really quite papery right now. And in this spot, it's coming off pretty easily. For some reason, there always ends up being some tricky spots. I'm just going to keep cracking and keep peeling this off and occasionally I will shake out the seeds. Now the seeds at this point are black and uh, apparently Rosie's going to try to eat one, but these are black and if you had not planted these by any other kind of uh, gourd or anything, uh, you could probably use these to plant, but um, I had a lot of different um, plants from the same kind of plant family around each other, so I'm not going to be able to uh, use these for planting. The loofah inside here is, is very, it's very firm, very stiff. There, there we have it, it's all out. It's all out of there. Now there's still a lot of seeds in there and I can see them on the inside. Now, I'll do my best to get them out of there. Okay, so that part is done. I'm going to grab a cutting board and we're gonna cut these into sizable pieces and get more of those seeds out. I just have my normal, um, you know, cutting board and a, I have a bread knife I'm using. Stop, you're gonna get your nose cut off. And, you know, for bathing purposes, you know, I think this size and here is gonna be fine. 
you know, whatever you guys want. We're keeping these for ourselves. So I'm just going to use my bread knife and cut it like I'm cutting a loaf of bread. And, um, you know, hopefully you can see inside there. Rosie, stop. And there are, there's like papery stuff in there, which is like the dehydrated slimy stuff that you saw in my previous video. And so, put that aside, I'm just going to, you know, try to get more and more of those seeds out. I'm going to start kind of crunching it a little bit. Maybe some of it will come out that way. Now, I'm just going to cut the other one. And do a nice size. Try to get more seeds out of this one. And really, that's all there is to it. Uh, these are ready to just be rinsed out in the kitchen sink. Go. And uh, you can just dry them, and then they're ready to use. So out of that, loofah that we peeled together. I um, got three loofah sponges that we can either use in the shower or I can use them uh, for washing dishes and things. You could give them away as gifts. Uh, you could, uh, you know, figure out how to pour soap down in there. That's what a lot of people are doing right now. They're pouring soap down in here so you actually have soap that is inside the loofah. Um, I haven't done that yet, but maybe someday. And that's it. So, which way wins the prize? Which is the winner? Well, you know, I did have a lot of fun uh, peeling the fresh loofah gourds. I really did. You got to, you know, beat them on the ground and peel off the skin. Uh, but afterward, the intense cardiovascular workout to get all of that slimy goopy stuff out of there um, was pretty intense and to be honest with you that's such a busy time of year with the garden getting everything out harvested and preserved and those kinds of things that I think going forward unless I'm completely out of loofah sponges and really need one immediately I will just uh, harvest them and let them sit and dry um, over the winter until they're ready to peel inside. Um, it was it was a lot easier. It actually took a lot less time. Uh, the seeds came out uh, faster and easier and I was able to cut them uh, into usable sections right away. So you guys, I hope you learned something valuable. If you were considering growing loofah gourds uh, even before this, I highly recommend it now. Uh, it was a really great experience. And after peeling these dry, it's gonna just continue to be a great experience all around. If you are not a subscriber yet um, and like what you have been seeing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Um, if you are a dedicated follower, it's been so great to have you back. Uh, before you go, don't forget to check out our Amazon store and our Etsy store. And until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.